everyone, we are up in Pompano Beach today. As you can see, it's the same day as our last video where we're in the same outfits. But we are up here with Barry, the broker who showed us the Choi Lee and the Shannon before because he has another interesting boat for us. And it is a creek moor and supposedly it has a pretty interesting story. So we're curious to see what that is and we're curious to see what this boat looks like. So let's go take a look. This is our boat now. Oh my god. <laughs> So we are out here again with Barry and we're about to tour a Creek Moor 46 and it is quite interesting boat, quite interesting story. There are these two Polish shipwrights that found this hull and they got their relative to finance them to finish this hull and they ended up spending about $500,000, a crazy amount of money on this boat and it still wasn't done. The relative ran out of money and this is what you have and then we're going to go tour it. Let's go take a look. So there's just a crazy amount of stainless that went into this boat. And this is like inch and a half stainless. It's just really, really solid. This arch right here, it's got two wind generators on it. It's got room for solar. It's a really, really nice integrated radar arch or solar arch with, you know, integrated into the, into the stern rail. And from our experiences, what I really love is the exposed chain plates, the exterior chain plates. Yep. So much easier to look at and inspect when you need to inspect your chain plates. Definitely. Let's go aboard. You can see the stainless work continues on the boat. We've got custom stainless for the lifelines. These stanchions are actually really, really high quality, really heavy duty. They're normal ones are like about an inch. These are probably about an inch and a quarter and the stanchion bases are, are custom and they're they're really solid like as you can see like, I, I, can, I can't even like move that it's just they're very very solid so let's go forward got these big inch and a half granny bars up here yes. which is kind of interesting because all of the lines actually go to the cockpit so not really you know. necessary, but on that just in case for some reason you need to be up here in heavy weather. <laughs> yeah, it's really covered. cool. So maybe getting the sail up or down or reefing. Just continuing on that stainless theme, there's just all the port lights on here are just 100% oh, right. stainless. They're just really, really, really cool. nice addition of a bow sprit as well so you've got your bow sprit it's rigged for basically like a spinnaker or like a jenniker or code zero whatever you might call it for your downwind sail up there and then you have your genoa here and then you have your staysail right here so you can have a storm jib or something on your and this one is hank on but the we have a furler forward of this yeah exactly and then a giant windlass Basically everything is brand new, but slightly old. <laughs> brand new from like 2005. Yes. We got the rods. Yep. And they can be closed from the inside. Yep. Nice ventilation. The non skid's pretty interesting. It's um, works probably gets hot, but it looks okay. It looks pretty good. We'll get back to it, but the cockpit is very safe. It's very deep. It's not too big. It's pretty, it's actually pretty small, but for a boat like this, that's actually a good thing because it's a lot more secure. Your control lines are within reach of the helm and you're, you know, you're safe as long as you're in the cockpit. We just have the aft laser right here. Very big, very. A lot of space under there. And we just noticed actually they they have davits here too. So this is arch not only can it have solar and wind, it could also have your dinghy right off the back right here. So and that looks like it's for like a potentially outboard motor. Yeah. Outboard motor. That's really nice. That's nice. So we've got a 
center cockpit design, which I always like. You have your instrument prod right here. This is looks like it's Edson. Everything's Edson, so that's good. High quality stuff. Compass goes here. Compass. This is your throttle. And all your instruments, or all your controls for the Yanmar, which only has 90 hours on it. And then on the other side, you have radio. VHF. VHF. All right. Can you down yet? Yep. So this woodwork actually looks, not actually, I mean, it, look, it looks really good. Like it looks awesome. Like, this is, I mean, it looks brand new. All of this, the doors. This is definitely, these were definitely professionals working on this boat. They knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. In the salon here, you've got your settees and then you have two pilot berths behind those. It kind of reminds me of Kirk and Lauren's boat, how they have the pilot berth. Oh yeah. Is it on both sides of their boat? It's only on one. On one side, yeah. So yeah, this is, the point is for these is, you know, you, you the, the point is to sleep here when you're underway. Mm-hmm. And then you have your two settees and berths, and then potentially a table that goes in the middle. Let's go forward. I mean, the wood is just really, really, I mean, it's just, the joinery is really nice. Yeah, but the doors are very nice. It's obvious that they took their time yes. with that. Yeah, so the head looks amazing. I mean, look at this joinery. It's just... Just really cool. Very, very nice. So Jordan and I geek out a little bit on woodwork and this caught my eye. Oh wow, yeah. The floors are teak and holly. That's kind of standard for boats. But they kind of ran it up here, it looks like, which is kind of cool in this door frame. So that looks really, really cool. And just right here you have, you, you know, an area to kind of sit. That. So that locks right there. You can close this. And you kind of have your little private area. So it's almost like you have a changing room right here. This is kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, that is kind of what that's like. And there's like even a place to sit so you can put your shoes on or whatever. And you have your lockers here for your clothes. Super cool. And you have a bunch of wiring right there. It is all labeled at least. Yeah. And then you've got lots of storage up in the V-berth as well. The V-berth is pretty much finished, other than obviously cushioning. Yeah, the V-berth looks almost done. Yeah. So, I mean, this boat really just needs someone to come in finish. and finish it. Yeah. This, I know Barry was telling you a little bit about and I didn't hear fully. Uh, it's an inverter charger. And so it just needs to be installed, but everything yeah. else is pretty yeah. much ready, except for it has a battery, a starter battery for the engine, but it doesn't have house batteries yet. I don't believe so. All right, going aft. So this is a center cockpit, so it's going to have a, an aft cabin. We'll take a look at this right here. I mean, this is a really cool really control. big panel really good, good like control area nav station super oh, cool yeah, this is a nav tape for, yeah yeah this is your nav station and then you know you seat right there probably put a cushion right there i mean again just the cabinets are so nice like all custom all custom and then after all that is going to be another head so it's not done yet obviously it still needs work but what barry was saying is what that you could do is what he recommends doing is actually just making this a shower and just having no toilet here, just a shower right here. A nice big shower for living aboard. And then your head would be up there. So you'd have a single head and a single separate separate shower over here. And I think that'd be a pretty good setup as well. Maximize your space. So the galley over here, it's very interesting. It's kind of it's kind of a long galley with it's an L-shaped galley, really. So it's a galley style galley. Galley style galley with an L shape. But I'll walk backwards through it because it kind of looks cool this way. <laughs> I 
And again, just the, the joinery and the cabinets are just super cool. Alcohol stove, gimbal. Yep, and refrigerators. Refrigerator, freezer. They both have cold plates. Yep. Microwave. Microwave, yeah. It still has a sticker on it. So like none of this stuff has been used. Like this motor, this is a Yanmar, 90 hours. It's, I mean, the motor's 10 years old, 15 years old, something like that. But it's just pretty much been never used, just sat here. But it runs, just needs maintenance. And aft of the motor in the galley, you've got this very large aft cabin. Again, just awesome cabinets and joinery. This is the panel, I think, that goes in the galley. Lots of insulation, oh, okay. sound dampening. So this is where your bed would go. Really, really large bed, large berth. And then under there, you've got your steering. With your autopilot set up. Autopilot, super nice. And it's all oh, basically brand new Edson. Yeah, all the electronics that have not been fully yep. installed are in here. You've got brand new 2005 electronics in here, which is cool, really cool actually. Cause I mean, that's also good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the woodwork back here too. Very nice cabinetry, storage. And the one thing we noticed is that the, the headliner is kind of interesting. It's not really a headliner, it's basically just painted, mm -hmm. um, like faired and painted, but it's got all exposed hardware. So everything's super easy to maintenance and get to. So the reason that the headliner is like this is this is a composite boat. So essentially what that means is they have plywood that they soaked in epoxy to form the boat itself. On the exterior, it's covered in fiberglass, but on the interior, it's just that plywood soaked epoxy, which has been painted. So you can kind of see what that looks like. Was it in here? Down here. Down here. So yeah, you can kind of see what it looks like down here. So it's not your typical solid fiberglass boat. So the hole's about two inches thick and it's sheathed in fiberglass and epoxy, and then it's also saturated in epoxy and then painted on the inside. So it's interesting, interesting build. So down here are actually some brand new sails. It's hard to see, but they've never been used. But there you go, look at that. It's crispy and white. So this boat comes with sails that are brand new, custom, never been hoisted. So you can see how they're done. Yeah. Because I was just amazed when I saw it. Oh, I see the fuel tank. See, there's yeah. your fuel tank there. Okay. It's got about half full. The other one, I don't think it's plumbed yet. So we're just looking at fuel and water tanks, and we're actually not sure how, how much, much they have. Because... Well, we're guessing there's uh, six of these water tanks and okay. an average of 30 gallons a tank. So... 180. 180 gallons of water, and I think gallons about of 80 gallons of fuel. 80 gallons 80 of fuel. Gallons. So approximately, that's, I mean, that's good, that's good. Um, that's water, yeah. And then all the tanks are plastic too, so you don't have to worry about corrosion. Okay, so water there, diesel there, water there, and diesel there. So what'd you think of that boat, Randy? It was interesting for sure. Definitely a cool story. What's finished is really well done. I was impressed with, yeah. the, with the woodwork and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looked, the woodwork, looks brand new like it looks like oh yeah you know when you look at just the woodwork it looks like a boat that you could walk into at a boat show you mm -hmm. know it's just it's it looks really nice yeah but it just needs someone who can handle a little bit of a project to finish up the woodwork that needs to be finished still and then the head and decide what you want to do with the head towards like the aft portion of the boat i think barry said it was probably about like 85 percent done so. yeah but the crazy thing about it is the amount of money that went into it right. by those two shipwrights. And, you know, it, it's it's a lot. It was a lot of money that they put yeah. in this. So, Absolutely. you know, I'm not 100% sure if it all went, you know, in the right places. But <laughs> it, it's definitely, there's definitely, you can tell. I mean, it's probably got, I don't know, $50,000 worth of stainless on it. You oh, know? yeah. Just, just stainless. Yeah. You know, so you can definitely tell that they put high quality stuff on the boat. They did a lot of high quality joinery. It was just a hull when they got it. So they completely built it up from there. Yeah. So, 
you know, it is what it is. So if this is something that you guys would be interested in, you want more information, Barry's information is going to be in the description below as always. You can give him a call. Uh, you can look on his website as well. He's got a spec sheet on his website. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey and the notification bell if you want to know each and every time we upload a video. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go